Hello Internet, this is Matthew, uh, and today I am going to talk about um, the TV show I just finished, The Good Place. Uh, needless to say, I will um, be spoiling some of it for you, so you probably shouldn't watch this video if you don't want to, um, if you don't want the show spoiled for you. Um, I would have to say this is one of the best shows I've seen in quite a while if not ever, and that's just because it uh, tackles uh, ethics and philosophy and death and the afterlife and a lot of questions that are important to me but are also important to um, everybody and anybody. Um, the, the show is looking at the questions that are just central to the human project, basically. Um, and it made me think a lot about um, what it means to be an ethical person and, and the, um, how people can change um, if given the opportunities, if given that little push, if given um, love and respect and compassion. Um, you know, because these four characters in the show, uh, Eleanor, uh, Chidi, Jason, and Tahani, um, they all have their flaws, um, but they, uh, mm, they I, I would, maybe it's overcoming is slightly, is, is not quite the right word, but, but they um, come to an understanding about themselves and do, they do change, um, they, they do become better versions of themselves, as, as is said in the show. Um, and of course, that's a very um, inspiring uh, message. Um, and I, I, I believe, you know, most people can become uh, better versions of themselves. Um, I, I truly think that. Um, but... And that's not to say, of course, some people might be, as as the kids say these days, um, TFG, <laughs> too far gone. But I think the people that are supposedly too far gone, are, I think people uh, believe that, that like, more people are too far gone than are actually too far gone. I think the people that are too far gone are it's really a small minority. Um, and that seems to be kind of the... Uh, thesis of the good place um most people are can change can become better people can be rehabilitated um not that any of the main characters in the show are um criminals um but of course and i'm also kind of a, i'm a nerd for philosophy so it's just a show that's about philosophy <laughs> is going to get my attention and going to keep my attention. When the the one of the characters, Chidi, was on uh, on Earth when he was alive on Earth was a professor of ethics and moral philosophy. So they talk a lot about various um, uh, uh, moral theories, consequentialism, deontology, uh, moral particularism, etc. Um. And then, of course, the show also tackles, um, the, you know, what would heaven be like if it were real? And it's interesting because what the um, show, the conclusion the show seems to come to is that um, what heaven would need to be, what, what would heaven would need in order to actually be heaven is death. So there's a, there's a, um, like a little uh, door in the woods, um, not door, but a little um, uh, path in the woods that you go down when you just you're tired of the good place and you don't want, you're you're content and you don't want to be in the good place anymore. You just go there, and we never know you know what's on the other side. Um, but we know that it's not the good place that they're not in the good place anymore. Um. 
and that's a profound message. Um, you know, it, mor immortality would be, I guess, its own curse, its own hell, um, in a, in a way, because at some level, what makes life meaningful is the fact that it will end. And so you have to make choices, um, in order to, um, you, you have to decide what you want to spend your time doing in order to make your life, uh, pleasurable or meaningful. Um, then the show t even talks about like relationships, you know, one of the characters near the end of the series says, well, um, if soulmates exist, like another thing in the course in the good places, did I, I don't even think, did I go over, I'm not sure I went over the, the actual like little, um, situation in the show. So basically it's four people, um, who think they're in heaven or the good place. Um, but it turns out they're not actually in heaven. They're, they're in the bad place or hell. Um, but then they, they, um, the demon that's torturing them becomes their friend and, and he helps them um, get into the actual good place. Um, and I bring this up because, oh, I had a point. What was I going to say? I hate when that happens. <laughs> um, hmm. Well, basically, it's just, it's interesting. The show just really interests me um, in that um, it is all about, it just asks the most profound questions um, that anyone could ever ask. Oh, I remember what I was going to say. <laughs> I knew if I kept talking, I was uh, going to remember what I was going to say. So, um the Michael, the demon, um, who is uh, pretending to be, you know, um, a good place architect, um, or the like, the the manager of this little neighborhood um, in heaven um, that the characters live in, you know, says at the beginning that, that everyone has a soulmate. Um, but near the end of the sh uh, near the end of the series, you know, when all the chips are down and the um, People have seen the wizard behind the curtain, <laughs> um, so to speak. You know, Michael says, well, the, if there are soulmates in the world, they're not born, they're made. Two people come together to and decide they like each other and, and, and decide to construct a relationship. Um, so basically, I mean, I guess this sounds kind of cheesy at some level, but just the whole show is a good summary of my whole like worldview or my philosophy of life at some level. Um, so soulmates are made, not born. Um, people can change. Um, immortality, uh, if it t were to exist, would be a curse. Um, and uh, we don't know. Uh, I was going to add, we don't know what happens when we die, but that's not necessarily a. I mean, that is a part of my <laughs> worldview, but it's a part of everyone's worldview, basically. Um, I mean, the, the show, I wouldn't say the show is perfect. It, it takes some suspension of disbelief. Um, and then there are a few plot points that kind of just seem like making the show drag out a little longer than necessary or um it, it's it's a very weird um almost absurdist show um so if you're only if you if you generally watch like very very realistic uh dramas or comedies or whatnot you might not get into the good place you, you might not get into you might not uh appreciate or, or you might not like the show <laughs> the good place um, but if, if you can, you know, kind of, uh, if you can, um, suspend disbelief, then I think you, you're in for a real treat. Um, and I would recommend it to anybody. Um, 
I was thinking last night that um, I'm hoping like seeing that show almost at some level makes me become a better person. And I don't know if that's true. I mean, I was t- telling someone about how, you know, uh, everyone has epiphanies all the time and they don't follow through with what they learned. Um, so, you know, I could just be like one of those things where, yeah, yeah I say and this show is going to spur me on to do something great and then I never do anything different, <laughs> which is just kind of what it is to be human. Um, often the epiphanies we think we've had, we didn't actually have, or if we had an epiphany, the epiphany doesn't actually uh, make us change our life in any dramatic way. Um, but the four characters in the show definitely did change their lives dramatically. Um, and I think we all can too. Um, if we really want to at the end of the day. Um, I guess I'll just leave the, or I'll wrap up this video. It's kind of all over the place. I'm so sorry, but I'll just wrap it up with uh, another part of the show that was interesting to me and that I agree with. Um, and it was about how, how difficult it is to actually be an ethical person. Um, and that's not to say you shouldn't be an ethical person, of course, but I think it's important to acknowledge um, the the struggle it, it is to um, be ethical. Um, you know, I mean, there are various reasons for that, of course. You know, there are certain just societal pressures or um, uh, societal um, uh, structures that, that make um, ethics difficult. Um, There's just the fact that humans are animals and animals have certain desires and needs. Um, And so sometimes those take precedent over any higher moral principles. Um, But I suppose what really what the good place is trying to say at the end of the day is um, you almost have to go beyond moral philosophy and just kind of try to live your life. Um, not to say that moral philosophy can't play a part in that life or that moral philosophy isn't important, but um, you sh- maybe shouldn't spend all your time reading moral philosophy, especially if it prevents you from you know, going on that date um, or learning a new language or learning an instrument um, or traveling the world um, or going to hang out with friends. Um, you know, a life is... To, to spout another cliche, life is meant to be lived. <laughs> um, you shouldn't spend it all in, uh, you shouldn't spend all your time with your nose buried in a book, something I am guilty of. Or um, you shouldn't spend all your time on the internet, something else <laughs> I'm guilty of. Um, but yeah, so that's just, just some thoughts I had about like the good place. Um, maybe I'll, I don't know if I'll make another video about it in the future. I'm trying to put out more videos. Um, just give me something to do, something extra to, to occupy my mind. So thank you for watching. Um, take care and, um, I'll probably post, no, I'll definitely post another video beforehand, before then, before, um, the holidays. But regardless, if you don't watch any of my other videos and you just happen to stumble on this one, uh, happy holidays.